welcome back to the channel. We are in the booth today. We're doing some black base coat to start off, and then I'm going to take you through some clear coat. So I'll give you a little pan around and show you what I'm doing. We've got a Mahusith roof to do. These are big guys. They're about about seven foot sort of square on this. We've got two fenders, two side panels, and a wiper motor cover to do. And the paint we're using today is a diamond black base coat solvent base. I've just been in the other booth and done the bonnet for this tractor set. We're using the Devilbiss GTI Polar on 1.2 for the base coat, running it around 22 psi, full fan. I'm sticking on the cap cam. We'll drop some black base on these. I've dropped some plastic primer on this one already on the roof. Some of the Standox plastic primer. Nice coat on there, and we're good to go for the base. So enjoy the video. I'll do a couple of bits in the base, and then I'll take you through some clear coating with the DV1. See you in a bit. Just going to do a drop coat. This is the second coat on these. 
gone down. Just going to let this really flash off, and then I'll do a back top drop coat, which is settled down. And then this will be good for clear coat. Come in, give it a nice tack rag off, stack on it down. It will be good for clear. So I'm going to bounce back into that booth and I'll take you through the clear coat stage on the bonnet in there and I've also got a lot, about 96 badges little like sort of silver badges to clear coat as well so I'm going to use two different clear coat groups I'm going to use the DV1S for the small stuff and the DV1 for the bonnet so I'll see you in the other booth over to the other booth we've got the bonnet that's been two coats first sort of dust coat then two full wet coats then I did a back top drop coat I've just tacked it off the tack rag cloth nothing came off on the tack rag cloth so it's gone down really nice silky smooth on that and then we've got 96 of these so you have to plastic prime the inside and the outside so you've got to do all these all the way around here plastic primer then silver then they've got to be clear coated these are the badges that sit to the front of the grills on here, on the front of the bonnet, be like a badge there. So clear coat then, and then we can clear coat. We'll move on. I might clear coat this one first, on the first coat down on this so it's wet. And then I'll just blast these out with the DB1S. And then by the time I've done them, I can then go straight onto the second coat on this one. On the second coat now. So I'll drop you a little bit of footage with these nothing special and then we'll do the full bit of footage on the bonnet and I'll drop the gun settings that I'm using in the top of the screen enjoy the music and I'll see you in a bit
gone down really nice on the bonnet. First coat. We've got the coats on these. Just one good coat on these is more than good enough. It's pointless putting two coats on. Just a nice one thick coat on these. Job done. So that was done with the DV1S. 1.2. Nice and easy. I'm going to stick it back on the cap cam. We've got the second coat on this one. And then we'll shoot off into the other booth and start clear coating all the other bits in there. So I'll see you in the next step. second coat down gone down really nice this is flowing out now really nice flat finish on this yeah it's gone down really well so you've probably not seen many I always used to paint blue everything was blue blue but this is a special color so they do like special colors like black metallic they'll do a terracotta and they do two other types of blue and it's just as a special colour like a special order that comes in where a customer wants a certain colour but it's gone down really nice so we'll move into the other booth hook the DV1 up again and we'll drop some clear coat down on the roof the two fenders the side panels and the, like the window wiper cover see you in a bit right, we're back in the other booth these have all flashed off nice nice and smooth just tack rag them down nothing comes off the tack rag when i'm wiping these down so the base coat's gone down really nice and not sort of grainy nice and smooth on all these pieces so they've all been statted off i've got the dv1 set up ready to go with clearing i'll stick you through the clear coat on the on the roof one of the fenders one of the side panels and then that will wrap it up guys once you've seen one drop of clear coat go down you've seen it a thousand times so enjoy the rest of the video and i'll see you at the end
what's left is right Chasing stars and holding you I can't see the end, but we'll see it through
we are all finished we've got the two coats down gone down really nice we've got a lot of dirt nibs in this but other than that it's gone down really well so a little bit of polishing on this but the finish brilliant with the db1 really nice finish on these just the dirt to just deal with settings on the DV1 I just done it two bar I just opened the fluid right out full fan and I was just feathering the trigger so I was like going half trigger on the sides like this and just lightly working the clear up so you get a nice finish and then on the tops just give it a bit more I just use my trigger like that don't seven, ever set the fluid I just sort of work it on my hand with the trigger and just build the clear up where I need it just keep my eye on the clear looking at the clear see what it's doing as I'm spraying and just get the nice finishes so hope you've enjoyed the video on a little bit of base coating and clear coating with the Devilbris spray guns we use the DB1S to do the little badges I use that to do the plastic primer the silver and the clear coat on the badges and then we use the DB1 to do the clear coat on these in here and I use the GTI Pro Line on the 1.2 to do the base coat on these bits on the black so thanks for watching guys don't forget if you're new to the channel click that subscribe press that notification drop your comments I'll get back to you in the comments and I'll see you in the next one cheers